The big question is, should we convert from degrees Celsius to Kelvin? To answer this question, for a temperature change, the answer is no. However, for the gas laws calculation, then the answer is yes. Now we're going to use this equation to prove our point. Do you remember the equation E equal to MC delta theta, where E is energy, M is mass, C is the specific heat capacity, while delta theta is a change of temperature. We're only going to focus on the change in temperature to prove our point. And so let's take, for example, we have two temperatures, the initial temperature of 30 degrees Celsius and the final temperature of 70 degrees Celsius. For a change in temperature, it is the higher temperature minus the lower temperature. And so we're going to convert this change in temperature by using our degrees Celsius and also our Kelvin. For degrees Celsius, it is 70 minus 30. While for the Kelvin, it is 343, which is 70 degrees Celsius in the Kelvin, minus 303, which is 30 degrees converted to Kelvin. 70 minus 30 equals to 40, while 343 minus 303 is still 40. So there is no need to convert from degrees Celsius to Kelvin if you're looking at a change in temperature. So I appreciate you watching this lesson, and I want to remind you that not everything needs changing. Have a blessed day.